for uh, patients with type 1 diabetes, if you have type 1 diabetes, your son has type 1 diabetes, I should tell you that the site where you inject insulin over time can become a little scarred and therefore the absorption will be different from an area that's a little you know, harder or a little more uh, fibrotic, if you understand, that it would be hard for the insulin to get in, whether it's N or R, even if it's a pump. So you should make a point to inject the insulin in an area that's clear, that it's, you know, can be pinched within your fingers without you showing a nodule or an area of uh, scarred area. Because that's what makes the absorption of insulin different. More or less insulin can go into the system. There is very little that you can do when you have the sites of a type 1 diabetic patient that has received so much insulin and has created all these areas of scars and therefore you have to start going into the back and even use the arms and the legs.